All right, all right, uh, Shalom Akim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwo. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say Shalom to you, brothers, you know. And I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe and all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash. You know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know, I means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, and my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash, is going to be basically on how the prophecies are speaking, all right? Mainly the words that our Lord Yahweh Shai said, all right? Going into going in on Matthew, the 24th uh, chapter, I Luke, the 21st chapter, and uh, Mark 13, on how there's going to arise false prophets, all right? It's going to be wars and rumors of wars, pestilence, all right? Earthquakes in diverse places, all right? Those prophecies are speaking, all right? The word of the Most High is, is coming to pass, all right? Whether these people believe it or not, all right? So I'm going to just roll through the Spirit, Lord, when it's edifying, all right, to the elect, of the nation Israel, you know, so this is the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 And I'll start at verse 2, you know, just make this lesson, uh, just get to the point, man Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2, it says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision, all right, meaning these prophecies All right, because the Lord had holy men of, of Israel, all right, the Israelites, or you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans All right, the Lord had his holy men, the prophets, all right, write these things down All right, let's get this preset real quick I believe it's Amos 2 Bear with me. Yeah, Salaki. So Amos chapter 2 and verse um, 11. Salaki, so I'm breathing hard. I just left the gym, you know. Yeah, get got to get that workout in sometimes, man. So this is book, Amos chapter 2, verse uh, 11. It says, and it's like, so like it. Amos 2 and 11 says, And I raise up of your sons for prophets and of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord? So the Lord raised up. Our sons raise up our his uh the nation of Israel, our, our forefathers, because the Lord is dealing with men, and the prophets of the Lord are are men of the nation of Israel, man. All right, the chosen men that he anointed for this word, man. As it says in what Jeremiah the first chapter, all right, before we came forth, all right, the Lord chose us. You know, start with our starting with our apostles and elders, great millstone. This is book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter one. Bear with me. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4 says, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. So the Lord is dealing with I his prophets. All right. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants the prophets, man. All right. So that was the point. All right. All right, the Lord sanctified the prophets from the from the beginning. All right, and the prophets come from Israel, man. All right, the true prophets are Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, and also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, all right? We are the true Hebrew Israelites, and the Lord is only dealing with the elect of Israel. He set up prophets of our nation, man. All right, so back at Hab Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. I mean, it's like a happy cool chapter two, verse two. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth. All right. So the vision of these prophecies All right, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. All right. World War three, the destruction of Babylon, the great, which is America. All right. The salvation of Israel, the elect of Israel. All right. Prophecies of wars, rumors of wars, pestilence. All right. Famines. All right. These was all ordained from Yahweh Shem Al Shai. And the vision is, is written and it made it plain upon the tables. These scriptures said that he may run that reading. So when we get these uh, understanding of these prophecies, you're supposed to go out on the highways and byways and teach this word, man. Verse three says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So these prophecies are going to pass. Are gonna come to pass. They're not going to tarry. All right. This generation shall not pass it to all be fulfilled. That's what the Lord Yahushua said, man. All right, so let's go into like, some of the prophecies. All right, Luke, I'm going to go, Luke, we always go to Matthew 24. So I'm going to go to Luke chapter 21. 
Luke chapter 21 and verse um, 7. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what shall be this? What sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? Meaning the, the coming of our Lord. All right. Matthew 24 said they entered the world. All right. That word world in the Matthew 24 is eon, meaning a age. You can even go on the NLT or the NIV. It says age. The end of the uh, certain time of rulership, the end of the Esau, the, the end of the Edomites. All right. Was there the descendants of Esau? I went in the end of their world. All right. Verse eight, it says, and he said, take heed that ye be not deceived. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed. And the time draw near, but ye not so go ye not. Therefore, after them, you're not supposed to go after these these uh, false prophets, man. All right, because they're going to deceive a lot of people. You just got these two bug outs up in Mississippi. All right. Saying that the, <laughs> they just got the heavenly name of the, of the Lord, man. <laughs> All right. Grand something, bro. <laughs> Yeah, they bugged out, man. Evil men shall wax worse and worse, man. The scripture said, if they come preaching another Yahweh shot, <laughs> all right, they're bugging out. And they're saying this with confidence. When they when I saw the video, I thought of the book of Clarence. <laughs> they're like false prophets, you know what I'm saying? If we pray, man, that we continue in this faith, because uh what the um King David said, man, take not away thy Holy Spirit from from us, man, from him. And we ask the Lord to take out the Holy Spirit from us, man. This is uh, Slacky. <laughs> it's because, um, bear with me. Yeah, it's for, it's for 2 Corinthians chapter, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. I mean, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Uh, yeah, let's get to the point. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4 says, For if he that cometh preaches another Yahweh shy, whom we have not received, or if ye receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel which ye have not accept, uh, which ye have not accepted, ye may well bear with him. For I suppose I was not wit beyond the very chief apostles, all right. But though I be rude in speech, yet not according to knowledge, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things, you know. But the point was, if there come Come and preach it of another Yahweh shot. All right. Scripture say, uh, bear with me. There's another precept. A curse. Let that man be a curse. A curse. Bear with me. receive a gospel bear with me it says let that man be a curse Yeah, here you go. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 9. Oh, I started verse um, 7. Galatians chapter 1 verse... Um, it's like it. Galatians chapter 1 verse 6. It says, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of a Mashiach unto another gospel. All right? And that's these false prophets, man. They heard the truth, but then what? They got persuaded. All right? They got sifted. All right, they got uh, scripts talk about every wind of doctrine. All right, they got blown by that wind and they got taken. All right. It says, verse 7 says, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Hamashiach. And there's people that's perverting the gospel. All right. They're, they're saying they're coming up with new things. Gypsy says they're going to deceive and being deceived, man. All right. Adding and taking away from the scriptures. All right. This is what the Lord warned us about. All right. It says, verse eight, it says, but though we or another stop, but, but though we or an angel from heaven preach another, any other gospel unto you, 
which is gospel meaning the good news of titans unto you that ye slide that unto you then that which we have preached unto you let him be a curse so let that man be a curse all right all right so somebody teach another yahweh shot another most high another holy spirit you gotta watch out for that dude because the lord's about to judge him all right it says and we say it's like as we said before so say i now again if any man preach any other gospel unto you then that ye have received let him be a curse all right so there's going to be a judgment for those all right who teach a false doctrines and the lord warned us warned, warned us of these things man that's why the, the lesson is called hey, the prophecies are speaking the words of the lord our lord your house is coming to pass it's like in luke 21 in verse bear with me verse 8 again it says and ye saw and he said take heed that ye be not deceived for many shall come in my name saying i am the anointed or they have the truth and the time draweth near go ye not at go ye not therefore after them not supposed to follow them but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions be not terrified for these things must first come to pass but the end is not by and by so you hear commotions wars and rumors of wars you see what's going over in uh palestine all right over the land of israel all right going over in russia and ukraine all right china all right is the wars and rumors of us commotions all right but we know what before the, the destruction comes all right before the world war three fully all right uh uh, uh be fulfilled Hey, that RFID chip, which is Mark of Beast, got to be Bay Mentor, man. Verse 10, it says, Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. We see that. And great earthquakes, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. I right, had Syria, Turkey, with well, the beginning of this year, 50,000 people died. We just had Afghanistan, 2,000. All right. All over. You just look at the, um, just look at the app, man. Just look at the earthquake app, man. You're going to see it everywhere. All uh, Thailand, China, America, all right, Puerto Rico, everywhere, man. Diverse places. And famines, all right, lack of bread, lack of food. And these famines going to grow, all right, whether it be man made or whether the Lord send all right, uh, 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 di disasters, all right, judgments, floods, fires that destroy the crops, all right. These are only going to grow because the Lord said these are going to happen. And we see them happening now. And pestilence. All right, these different diseases. All right, that's only gonna grow. All right, a couple years ago they had Ebola. All right, you know about that CV. All right, which that was only pneumonia. All right, turned up, you know, but it's only gonna get worse. All right, it says in fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. All right, it's chariot sightings. All right, blood moons. All right. These was these what the Lord spoke of and we in these times, man. That's why we supposed to be up in the spirit, man. As we see a bug outs arise, as we see a wars arise, famines arise, all right, judgments arrive, we know hey, this is the words of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. And we gotta continue praying to the Lord that He keep us, that we be a part of the elect. Like Apostle Hard did that video. Pray, 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 pray that you a part of the elect, man. All right. That's what we praying for. That's our prayers, man. I don't want to rock this out, Lord willing. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, that was pretty much it, man. You know, just a quick lesson, man. The Lord is the word of the Lord is speaking and they're going to come to pass, man. Let's see what else. It's like you. I always bring this out in the, um, Matthew 24, but I'm going to bring it out in Luke 21. All right. Let's start at verse. Uh, we in these times Luke 21 and verse 24 on down it says and and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captives into all nations talking about Israel I the diaspora and Jerusalem shall be trodden down to the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled and Jerusalem is trodden down by the Gentiles these other nations at the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled and we in those times right now man and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the seas and waves warm. We see those things, man. Men's heart fell in them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. 
for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And he means hearts gonna fail when they see the Lord, man. And these powers are these elites. They're going to be shaking, man. And then shall they see the son of man, our Lord Yahweh, shall come in the cloud with power and great glory. This is how the Lord's returning in his chariot, so-called UFO, with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then lift up your, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw not. Y'all salvation draw not because the elect of Israel is going to be beamed up in a chariot, so-called UFO. Ma uh, Wisdom of Solomon and the Fish have to talk about the strangeness of our salvation. All right. The strangeness of our salvation and the whole world going to see it, man. The whole world, Lord, when we probably let the Lord, the whole world going to see us again beamed up. The true believers of the Lord, man. The prophets are with 144,000 prophets. All right. The helps, the women, the children. All right. It's going to be a great, glorious victory when our Lord returns. Lord, when we probably elect. Verse 29. And he spake to them a parable. To like it. Behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own self that summer is now nigh at hand. So we see the trees start to blood bud. All right, you see the coconut start to grow. The uh, mangoes start to grow on the tree. All right, you know that summer is about to come. All right. Verse 31. So likewise, ye, when you see these things, when you see these things come to pass, know ye. That the kingdom of the most high is nigh at hand. So we know the kingdom of heaven is right around the corner, man. Endure fight, man. Battles, man. Every day ain't going to be joyous, man. All right. In the flesh, but in the spirit. The scripture said, though, though I, the outward man perish, but the inward man is renewed day by day. Though you have problems, all right, on your day to day, whether it's what, financial, relationships, carnal, um, carnal shit, man, like money, whatever. And it's not going to be compared to the glory that the Lord going to give us. But though we go through struggles with that, but our spirit is renewed because we know, hey, all this shit going to end. And what these people that hope in this world, they're going to be taken. All right, because why? They're going to take that off our dicha. And what? That's the, that's going to seal their faith because they love this world. And what? We don't love this world. We, we look for a new kingdom wherein dwells righteousness, a new heaven and new earth. We see for a uh, uh, scripture say Hebrews. 13, for here we have no continual city, but we seek one to come. All right. So, hey, we know the kingdom of the most high is at hand. And we'll say, if we forsake all these things, what we're going to see a hundredfold. Yeah, that's what the Lord Yahweh told Apostle Peter, man. Everlasting life, a hundredfold. Judging the 12 tribes, man. On thrones, man. Call her Lord, like Verse 32. Verily I say unto you, meaning truly I say unto you. This generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. All right. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. So these words are faithful and true. And take heed of yourselves. Take heed to yourselves. At least at any times your heart be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you on the word. So we got to be locked in the spirit, man. Best of our ability. Pray. We don't want to be that day of the Lord take us unaware and we not be prepared. So be uh, watching the day of the Lord coming, man. All right. Excited at his coming. Verse um, 35. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth, on the face of the whole earth. Verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. We pray a... Hey, we stand boldly, man. Trip is talking about having confidence that it's coming. Brother Ram, or Mock, always bring this out, or he quotes it a lot. What is it? First John. Yeah, First John chapter 2 and verse 28 says, And now, little children, abide in him. Abide in what? Divine. Our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh Baal Shai. That when he shall appear, we may have confidence and be not ashamed before him at his coming. So when he returns, when we see those skies, when we see that uh, that the uh, Lord cracked them skies, I right, with them angels, confidence, man. Lord, we did what you did. I mean, we did what you said. We, we gave it our best, man. We, we, we gave it all, man. We made our body a living sacrifice. We repented when we went off, man. We showed that charity, that brotherly love. We, we hold the faith. So we got to have that confidence. You want to be like, oh, Lord, I... I, I knew you would not forsake you. I thought you weren't coming. You don't want to have that spirit, man. All right, you want to have that spirit of, hey, I did what you did 
Yahweh Yahweh Shemashai, I don't want to write this down part of let because it's all about predestination. We don't know, but the strip said, give diligence to make your call and election sure. So that's what we do. All right. So these prophecies are speaking. All right. Yahweh Bashimashai word is, is true. All right. And, and the people coming up with other doctrines and and trying to persuade other people. Hey, they they going to deceive a lot of people. They're going to deceive the elect. All right. We see the wars happening. We see in the RFID chip, the system, the blockchain, Esau trying to get his NWO. Hey, let's let's keep fighting, man. Keep 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 doing the work. Keep praying. Keep repenting, and keep fighting, man. Fight the good fight of faith. All right, soldier of, the, of our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, so Lord willing, this lesson edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rechakodash. All right, want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I want to give a peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lagakim that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep it doing, Shalom.